I'm Kads, and welcome back to the Free to Play Review. Once again, it is time to talk about the latest iteration of the summons pool, specifically the Savage Summon Pool, which is featuring a decent amount of nukers. I think that's the theme here. I think Savage for the set, perhaps, maybe? That's what they mean. But uh, yeah, so I think it's a bunch of nukers. There's eight legendaries and, what, 12 epics? And a good a good mix, honestly. I mean, Kandrophone, one of the most one of my most hated champions in the game. Very powerful nuker. Not as meta uh, currently, but uh, still very powerful. Wallmaster with Orion, very, very great for Hydra. Had the pleasure of testing him out in my Nightmare team. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see an update on my uh, where my Nightmare Hydra team is at featuring a Wallmaster. I still need a, bit, a few more tweaks to finalize that team, but nonetheless, I did run it for the first time. Raza Varg, previous fusion, but pretty decent nuker. Uh, very unique, I, I would say as well, because his uh, damage scales off of speed and attack. I think Ghostborn has a similar thing going on where it scales off speed and attack, but Raza Varg also ramps up his speed with his passive so very, very cool. Afrak, one of the bait champions that they put in stone skin with some dummy champion who can just smoke your entire team if you're not ready for it. So you've been warned if you see a Afrak, he's probably in stone skin. Be prepared for it. Rotos, one of the most powerful single target nukers in the game. Trunda, we all know about Trunda <laughs> and her prowess in Hydra, but also still relatively powerful for the average player in Arena. Cavlax, not really a super nuker, but you know he's good in PVE content, good for poison explosion type comps. Michald, pretty decent nuker for Hydra, you know, Demon Lord Clan boss stuff like that. For the epics, we're not going to go through like every single person, but you know Fane, great for De uh, Demon Lord Clan boss unkillable teams. One of the most powerful, probably like the second most powerful epic in terms of damage output. Farrakhan the Fat, very popular ally attack champion, the most accessible. Lore, Fenax, great block revive on the A1. Zargala is pretty decent. And then Neldor is great for the Fire Knight hard mode. So in this case, it is going to cost you 30 fragments per shard. And we are looking at a equivalent of a sacred shard. So 6% chance to get a legendary, 94% chance to get an epic. And for once, they finally did it, folks. They did it. They gave us a free to play accessible option to be able to secure a free summon air quotes free as we always like to say but they put some of the fragments 30 fragments in a champion training event granted it only lasts for two days you can see here for me at least at the time of this recording it's going to be ending in six hours but i do intend to go all the way out there to the legendary tome as the tome chaser that i am or shall i say the hardcore free to player as uh, nubkex put it so eloquently but uh, we can collect this together but uh, yeah actually if you guys want to know how on earth i got you know six thousand points in base Basically one day. I'll link the champion training guide I did in the card above so you guys can check that out so you understand my approach to champion training and how it equates to me getting a substantial amount of points in a relatively short amount of time. But the premise of that being that I essentially made like three or so five-star chickens and then created one six-star champion and that was a massive chunk of points obviously training up all of the lower levels uh, one star two star three star etc as well to get all of those points and so that added up into a significant amount of points and of course we're going to do maybe one to two more five star chickens and that should get me all the way up there to nine thousand. and of course we're not i'm not going to pretend that i didn't spend some gems i'd probably spent 100 or so 120 maybe gems on it but i also had some energy stores from other or recent events and tournaments stuff like that the path of uh path of light we had recently as well so there's just a bunch of energy stores that i use and uh, on top of getting gems but i'm digressing here the other source because there were actually three you can i guess you can see all three of them here but um there's another place where you could get Get a free summon, air quotes free, uh, 30 prism crystals here in the summon rush. This is a special midweek summon rush, which honestly has some pretty decent rewards if you're willing to go for it. I'm not, but nonetheless, it's worth pointing out that you can get, you know, two legendary tomes and a mythical tome if you wanted to go out there and you're enticed by the couple of progressive chance events going on right now. So in this case, it would cost you five sacreds and the 50 mysteries if you wanted to get a free summon. And honestly, I could say that if you really were keen to try to get one of the champions from the pool, or I guess one of the legendaries, I should say, from the pool, and you were willing to invest five sacreds, essentially you'd be getting a bonus sacred roll on a limited pool if you were to go all the way out here. So you spend five sacreds to get there and you effectively get a sixth sacred with a limited pool of champions, specifically those in the summon pool. And then you have a chance the same rate as a sacred chart to get a legendary so it could be good if you really want
wanted Wallmaster, you really wanted Hefrak, you really wanted Rodos, you really wanted Trunda, <laughs> more likely for a lot of people. Um, so like it, it could be a relatively decent gamble, a really, relatively decent investment if that is your strategy. In my case, I'm not keen on anyone that much in the pool. I would love to get a dupe Rodos, for example, but that's not something that I'd really be willing to part with five sacreds for a shot at. But nonetheless, um, that is an option. The main thing, honestly, I want to highlight here is that if you really want to burn through some mystery shards, this is a great time to do it. It's one per, obviously, I guess I'm blocking it. It's a one, one point per, per mystery shard. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open 200 mystery shards. That way I can get myself 50 gems. Oh, there we go. 50 gems and 100 energy. I mean, you could go as far as you'd like with mysteries. I wouldn't recommend doing, you know, upwards of 2000. I mean, technically you could do... 2500 mystery shards if you wanted to do that that would be painful less so with the recent uh, buff to the tavern but unless still relatively painful but you could do that if you wanted to get a air quotes free summon but again for me minimal investment 200 mystery shards it's going to take five minutes or so and i walk away with 50 gems and 100 energy i think that's worth it so i'm most certainly going to do that bank that energy for later actually i'm probably going to use that energy for the champion training going on tonight but uh, yeah so the third source looks like it's going to be dungeon divers and according to the calendar and player and play it's going to be a very um, unique i should say two-day dungeon diver event which is very very rare i don't even know what to expect from the milestones i would expect the prism crystals to be at the very very end it might be another set of 30 i don't expect that to be the case i feel like it's going to be 20 or something less than a free summon but who knows we'll see when it goes live i guess in four and a half hours um but if it's going to be the last milestone two days is something we don't see very often but i would anticipate it'd be somewhere around like 20 200 2300 ish points so it's still going to be very painful to max it out for for a dungeon divers event but nonetheless i guess it's not as bad as trying to do 4000 plus or something so it could be an option if you're really going ham on all the um, drop fevers uh, drop frenzies going on right now and you have nowhere else to spend your energy because again champion training will have ended so you could just be focusing on dungeons for the time being but for me once this champion training ends and i claim my legendary tome we're going to go straight back into men and star uh, and grinding some masteries before the next event starts so since we picked up our free summon from the champion training event we might as well do it live here in the video and just see what we can get from the prism sard there is no cvc going on so we don't have to worry about anything like that there could be well i don't think it's a champion chase this weekend i think it's going to be a summon rush so i don't really care about trying to min max that either and unfortunately for the second time i think we get a geomancer from the prism shard and uh another video if you guys want to check it out but geomancer is on on my no use list because i do think personally he is a bit busted and i don't like his passive i think it's too strong so this will be a free chicken for me we do not use gm answer on my account but nonetheless hey champion training i was already going to do it anyways because it was a legendary tome and so basically i just got a free shot at some potentially good legendaries uh, most of which i actually have surprisingly actually no all of which i have surprisingly well that's that's kind of rare but uh it was nice you know free shot it could have gotten the duplicate rotos which would have been amazing for me personally but nonetheless the focus of the champion training event was of course a legendary tome at the end so now i'll turn it to you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you're going to pursue any of the potentially three free summons air quotes you could get from any of the events in the event tab going on over the next few days and of course if you do get a free summon and you summon something amazing be sure to let me know what you get in the comment section down below as always if you found this video helpful then be sure to hit that like button down below and if you did enjoy the video then be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one in the future thanks for watching and have a good one